Hi, I'm Michelle, and this is my husband and business partner, Peter. We are here today to ask for a £100,000 investment for a 10% stake in our company, Fun Fancy Dress Limited. We have been a limited company for over three years and have so far generated a turnover of over £900,000 with a net profit of around £142,000. We currently employ seven people and hold stock worth over £100,000. Our website receives over 45,000 unique visits per month with an average order value of £29. We opened two stores across 2010. Um, the first store was in Poole, Dorset. Our second store in Bedworth, Warwickshire. We need your investment to help us increase the market share of our online business, uh, plus help us roll out a franchise programme. Uh, we aim to open two pilot stores this year, with five next year and ten the year after. Um, we feel that with an investor on board, we can improve upon this performance and become the first national branded chain of party stores. Thank you for listening and we look forward to answering your money questions. A colourful pitch from Peter, Michelle and assorted members of the Hart family. In return for a 10% stake, they need £100,000 to franchise their fancy dress business and turn it from a local to a national brand. Duncan Bannatyne is first to question the couple. OK, just so I get this in my head, do you hire costumes or do you just sell costumes or a mixture of both? A mixture of both. And do you do uh -huh. some of that on your website and some of it in stores as well? Um, it's only the hire costumes uh, in store at the moment. Right, so the website you sell? Yeah, is purely retail. Now, what percentage of the money you've turned over, 900000 came from the website? Well, uh, year ending March this year, um, the website took just over 150,000. No, the stores, and given them individually. Uh, well, the only one of the stores has completed its first year, which is the one in Poole, Dorset. And that turned over just over 113,000. Okay. Can a shop turn over 113,000 in a year and make a profit? Well, yeah, I mean, we, we have. I mean, the net was around 18 to 20 per cent. Encouraging figures and an encouraging start from Peter and Michelle. But what of the business plan? Theo Pafitis wants to know. Hello, I'm Theo. Theo? OK. Tell me what your franchise model is and why it would be attractive to me as a franchisee. Um, the brand, which we would build in time. The brand is? Fun Fancy Dress Limited. Fun Fancy Dress that, has, that nobody knows at the moment. What else? Um, access to our suppliers at the prices we purchase at. Beneficial purchasing from your suppliers? Yes. OK. How much are you going to charge me? In the region of 20 to 40,000. And that would, be, that would include the shop fit. And then how do you make your money from then onwards? Uh, we, we're charging the licence fee on the turnover of around 8%. OK, that's interesting. So what would my margin be? Well, we would expect you to turn over between 100 and 130 in the first year. So you should be able to net in the region of 20% in the first year. No, 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 a gross margin. How do you mean, sorry? Well, it's easy. My sales, less my purchases. Um, you yeah, probably, I think, 50,000, 60,000. And so what, you're saying 40, 45%? Is that what you're saying? Uh, if I understand you correctly, yeah. Well, it's very simple. Through the till, my sales, Mm -hmm. less what it cost me to buy the products that I sold? Uh, you'll be less with about 70%. So you make 70%? Yeah. OK. And you're going to charge 8%. What percent benefit would I get in my purchasing compared to what I could buy for myself? About 15 20%. Peter, you've not thought this through. The fact is, what are you going to charge me when you gross it up is practically no different to what I would get if I didn't get your buying power. Except I'm going to end up paying over the top for a shop fit. A complex and somewhat tense exchange as Theo Pafitis questions the deal on offer to potential franchisees. And it doesn't look like the couple are about to find any solace from Peter Jones. Peter, Michelle. Peter. Hi. Hi. Uh, if I was to invest in this opportunity, I, I wouldn't be doing what you're doing at all. 
I look at this model, I've got £113,000 worth of revenue and I'm going to generate about 18% net before I take my salary. So I'm going to make 25000 a year or I could go round the corner and get a job without any hassle, without any worries, without any sleepless nights. So your incentive for somebody else to become entrepreneurial and go and make it happen for themselves doesn't really make commercial sense at the moment. So it's coming across a little bit that you've, you're sort of, it's a bit of a wing and a prayer at the moment. You haven't really gone into the detail of a franchise operation, have you? Absolutely not. I mean, we, we've never launched a franchise business. We are new to business. We've, we've only been in business ourselves for three years. Yeah. Maybe we're showing our naivety. We need more experience if we're going to go down the franchise route. But to be honest, part of um, us coming here and asking that was um, that you guys clearly have experience. So how much stuff. money did you want from us? 100,000. For how much of the business? 10 percent. So that makes this business where you ha don't have the experience, you don't have any brand, it isn't making enough money, you're valuing that business at a million pound. Because I have to say, until that point, you could even have my empathy. I could even think, oh, maybe I could help here. But then you asked me to buy into your business for £100,000, which values it a million pounds. Well, we, un we do understand. We do understand. <laughs> have a reality check. How does it sound? Michelle, how does it sound to you? Um, it sounds feasible. I mean, it, we, we started to stop two shops from scratch. We kitted them out. We stocked them out. We didn't borrow it's any not money. A franchise. That's a chain of shops. Two shops, actually, not a chain of shops. Right. So far. You know, we do have a, a successful business that we've been running for three years. And I understand Peter. that we don't fully understand the franchise model. I'll no, be the first no, to Peter, you don't, it's not that you don't fully understand. You don't understand at all. I won't be investing. I'm out. Thank you, Deborah. A scathing assessment from Deborah Meaden and a crushing blow to the husband and wife team. An irritated Theopophetis has now made up his mind too. I'm, I'm lost, lost for words. I invest in businesses. I don't give you my money, then go and run it for you. Of course not. If you were to invest, for example, and then say, well, listen, I, this franchise plan is not the way forward, we, you know, you've done, you've had no, this experience. No, no, I'm not going to tell you stuff. As an investor no, no. of £100,000, we would... <laughs> You're asking me to completely remodel your business plan, reorganise you, tell you how to make money with my money. If I was going to do that with a hundred grand, do you know, I could do it myself. So I'm going to tell you right now that I'm out. Thank you, Sia. Peter, Michelle, what you need to do is go and read up on franchising. Go and understand what you need to do to be able to franchise a brand, a product, a retail outlet. Really, you are here too precipitously. We're not stood here with a, with a plan in stone saying, listen, we're doing no, a franchise model. I know, model, but you're you not like stood there with we any plan because you made the franchise model up downstairs before you come up. I'm out. Thank you. Two more dragons walk away from the deal and Peter and Michelle have just two multimillionaires left to rescue their dreams of investment. Peter Jones is ready to show his hand. Peter, Michelle, I think um, I'm not going to repeat what everybody said because I totally agree. Um, but I congratulate you on having a business that at least is, a, at the moment, a lifestyle business. And that is a business of which two individuals can support a family. But it's not investable for me, and that's the reason why I'm out. Thank you, Peter. Um, OK, that just leaves me, Peter, Michelle. How do you think it's gone so far? Uh, can we start again? <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got a really hard time there. You should definitely not drop the franchise idea. It's a great idea. It's the only way to expand this business. And you do have a franchise model. It's the only way I can see us growing it at the rate we yeah. want to grow it. There's a lady come up here called Denise Gosney, who had a franchise business, Rasmataz Stage Schools. Yeah. Yeah. And all her other dragons had to go to her and they declare themselves out. I invested in her now. And it's international, it is worldwide. That franchise model is doing absolutely fantastic. So with that in mind, I'm gonna make you an offer. Okay? 
I'm going to offer you the full amount you've asked for, which is £100,000. But one thing they're all right about is you have valued the company too high. And I can't offer you less. So to offer you £100,000, I need to have 60% of the company. We, we can't go to 60%. I think we would really like to keep the, the, the stake below 50%. Um, to be honest. I think he was thinking more 40. <laughs> was he? She knows exactly what I'm... Th I, what can you do? <laughs> um, would it be possible for us to meet at 45? No, um, my best offer is £100,000 for 50%. Okay, we'd like to accept that offer. Against all the odds, Peter and Michelle have done it. I think we'll do well. Great. They won the confidence and the money of an experienced dragon investor. It's a lot more than we wanted to give away, definitely. But, um, like he says, he's got a lot of um, experience in that sector. We've got Duncan as a business partner now. When we woke up this morning, we didn't. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, so uh, good times ahead and hopefully pro very profitable times.